Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about some mud races or obstacle races or both kind of combined. I've been to at least three of them, the Savage, uh, Spartan, and a Mud Girl race. If you're curious about what it's like to go to like a mud obstacle race, stick around because I've got some tips that I'd like to share with you. Hopefully you'll find these useful. So I've been to the uh, Spartan, the Savage, and most recently I went to a Mud Girl, which is an all-girls mud race. If you've never been to one of these or you're curious about one and you're not sure what to expect or what to bring, then I'm going to give you a little bit of insight on that. So if you don't know at all what these are, the Spartan and the Savage are both obstacle races or obstacle course races, also called OCRs. They focus on a lot of obstacles that you have to complete. A lot of it focuses on your upper body, honestly. Some of the obstacles at the Spartan that I did were obstacles that were kind of like monkey bars. Some muddy type obstacles there. Carrying buckets full of gravel, rope climbing. But then the last race that I've done so far is a mud girl race. And I loved the mud girl race because it was super easy and super fun. So first things first, what do you wear to a mud race? People that aren't familiar with races at all usually sign up for mud races because they're fun and they're all the rage and everybody's talking about them. It's tempting to be all cute and make a cotton t-shirt for everybody and look all fun. But if you can, try to not have cotton because your shirt's gonna get wet and it's gonna get soaked and it's gonna feel gross. And if you can, try and get like a blended shirt, not 100% cotton. Tight fitting would probably be good because that mud will get caked in places. I would suggest some old tennis shoes. You either pick one. You wanna either pick wearing trail shoes or raggedy shoes that you're just gonna throw away afterwards. Don't worry too much about carrying a water bottle to a lot of these races. There's gonna be water stations you don't want your camel back to get gross and having a water bottle just with you the entire time you're bound to lose it at some point so it's probably good to just not even worry about it workout gloves are good if you don't want your hands to get like scraped if you're like crawling on the ground a lot knee pads if you have weak knees or if you don't want your knees to get scraped on the ground from like crawling, a headband to get the hair and sweat out of your face. And if you wear glasses like I do, then take them off if you go on slides or if there's gonna be like water obstacles. So I carry like a fanny pack that I don't mind getting muddy. And if I'm about to go in like a water obstacle, I put my glasses in there and zip it up. Then when I get out of the water, I'll unzip it, put my glasses right back on. If you bring a phone or a camera, make sure that your phone or camera is waterproof. And not only waterproof, but mud proof. You might get mud stuck on it, especially on the lens. There's times when you're not gonna be able to wipe off the mud. So you're just gonna have mud on your screen and you're just gonna have to record with mud because the more that you wipe it with your muddy hand, the muddier it's gonna get. So now I'm gonna get into some quick tips for post-race cleanup because sometimes the hardest obstacle is trying to clean up. At the last mud girl that I did, the showers were non-existent. The hoses, that they gave us to wash off with had zero water pressure. You had to put the hose down to ground level to get any water to come out of it. So everybody was on the floor trying to get mud off of them. But you know, the mud just kind of ends up on the floor. So you're kind of just rolling around in your own mud. Be prepared to either trash your clothes or put it all in like two or three bags so that the mud doesn't leak out of it. Super, super important. Do not forget to bring a spare set of shoes because the shoes that you have that you run with are going to be just the grossest ever. Bring a towel or a yoga mat or something to sit on in the car because like I said, you're not going to be able to get all the mud off at these pathetic shower stations. Before you cake mud into your car seat, then put like a towel down or something. Uh, also, quick note, you're going to get really hungry <laughs> if you if you take a while on this course, even if it's like a three miler, you got to make sure that you've eaten well before you go on this course. And then if you want to bring like a protein bar or a protein pouch during the thing and, and put it in like a fanny pack or something, and then at some point take a quick break, have a little snack and uh, yeah, make sure it's in like a waterproof bag if you don't want mud all over it. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, and don't forget to hydrate. Try and stop at every water station if you can so that you can get some water, stay hydrated. So that's all I got for this video. So I hope you guys got something out of it. And if you're going to your first obstacle or mud race, then I wish you the best of luck. Don't forget to click that like button. And if you like my content, then I invite you to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.